Alrighty, so we're excited to be unveiling the new two bore hemlock saddle for you all out there. Um, I'll show you really quick how to take it out, how to put it on. Um, we have it right now in one of our pouches. So you can see how it actually packs up really nicely. Can fit right inside of one of our pouches if you want to travel that way. So without further ado, here we go. So as you can tell, just pulling it right out right away, um, size-wise it is going to be a little bit bigger than the others on the market. But as I mentioned in the previous intro, we don't have one, two, we actually have three panels and I'll show you why that's an advantage here in a second. First, step through, pull it up. Strap your waist belt on. You'll notice it's actually adjustable on both sides, which makes it nice so you're not pulling to one side over the other. You can pull your back strap up here. And this is what we call strap A at the top. And what the first thing you'll probably notice about this compared to a lot of the other saddles out there is actually our bridge and all of the other parts of the saddle are made out of webbing, one inch webbing. So we'll show you an advantage of that in a second. We grab the G hook. These are actually made in Grand Rapids, Michigan as well. We found one. Um, we were actually, we couldn't find one that fit best with our saddles. So we decided to get some made, made right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And another thing you'll notice is there actually is two points of connection for you for your G hooks. So helps out with adjustability as well as if you're not using one of them, the other one can hang sticks or other ob or products that you're bringing up into the tree. So like that, two fingers can fit in there nicely, slide it in, tighten her up. The other one, same thing. I like to start off with mine in the green strap. Sometimes for myself, a lot of times if I'm sitting in the tree for a long time, I'll throw it in the black strap here and I find it helps out a little bit more for me from sitting for a long time. But again, you now have your bridge up here made out of that one inch webbing. You have the adjustability over on this side. So we don't call it an adjustable bridge. We actually call it a tri-glide. But what happens with that is you can tighten it down as you're walking in so you don't have all of this hanging out and down as well as that's gonna help support your back. Riding up higher here, or if you loosen it up, help to support underneath your legs as well. So when I go into walk into the woods, I pull it over, tighten it down as far as it will go so it's not loose and flopping around everywhere. You can fold this in. Now I'm ready to walk in. You'll also notice down on the bottom you have the adjustability for your legs as well with those thumb loops for easy adjustability. That helps tighten or loosen around your legs to give you better support or loosen up that support as you're sitting all day or throughout your long sits in the fall. I like to loosen up to start. Get up to your tree. Grab your carabiner. Slide it over the bridge. Obviously as you're climbing typically you're going to be having your lineman's rope around the tree as you climb up. Just for ease of showing you guys though, sitting here, you can sit back, you can obviously see it's tight. So now what you do, you take that same strap A adjustability, you loosen it up, and you can sit right down. Depending on how tight you want it against your back, as you loosen up now you can see how high this rides up removes any need for an actual back strap going around it as well. So it's one less thing that you have to add to your saddle to leave that car, to reach that comfort level that you're looking for. And now you're ready to go. So throughout the day as you're sitting, you can lower it down. So now it's actually gonna fit more like a single or double panel lower on. And you can tighten these up and sit in it more like a seat as well. The adjustability is on both sides for these, on strap D we call it on the bottom. And you're good to go. And that is the gist in the beginning parts of the Hemlock Saddle. We're excited to have you uh, all try it out this fall.